Well, I hate to beat a dead horse, but there are some subtleties and nuances of Final Cut X's um, time remapping that need to be understood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shot here. It's just my iPhone pointing out the car at Target. As a matter of fact, if you come back here, you can see there's my there's my car in the window. But anyway, I'm going to pick it up about, oh, about here, I think. And I'm going to use the uh, option left bracket to top the clip, which basically just cuts the top of the clip off and moves it to the left. And then I'm going to get out of it about here. So this is called tailing, and this is option, uh, the other bracket, the right-hand bracket. Okay, so here's our clip, and it goes whoosh. And what we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to slow down on the target logos, and then we're going to speed up again. So this is just a functionality thing. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a marker about when I want the effect to start. There's the letter M, and then I'm going to get out of it about there, letter M. So this stuff, I'm going to trim a little more off. This is option left bracket. So everything before it is going to go really fast. Everything across the logos on the shopping carts are going to go slow, and then we're going to go really fast away. So if I hit Command R, I get the little green bar that says I'm doing uh, time remapping. And, and uh, you know, there's an important thing to, to note here. If you take the end of the clip like this and you drag it about, all you're doing is you're making the clip the same length. Okay? But if you come up here and adjust the little green bar, I'm actually changing this. I'm using all the same frames. I'm just playing them faster. So that's a good thing to know about the, the time remapping thing. Now what I'm going to do now that I have this selected, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use what is called the blade speed command. I don't know why they call it that, but that's what they call it. And then I'm going to put the cursor here and I'm going to come back to the menu and go blade speed. Now turning that on automatically, um, the last time I used it, I had the speed transitions on. I'm going to turn that off for now. Okay. So if I pull this down one more time, you see there's no speed transition. All right. So what do we got? We have the beginning of the clip. We have the middle of the clip and the end of the, and the end of the clip. So what we want to do is we want to go really fast, then slow, and then really fast. All right. Um, let's start with the left-hand section. If I right-click, or actually not right-click, if I just pull down this window and go to Custom, this is a new feature in 10.1. I want to go at 300% speed. I'm going to hit Enter, and you can see that now that section is one-third as long. Okay, I'm going to click out here. So that's going 300%. This is 100, and this is still 100, so I'm going to make this one go 300% too, or 300%. As well, I'll click out here, and then the middle section. I want to slow this section down, so I'm going to go to like 30 percent. All right, so let's see what we got here fast, slow, fast. Now, if I rewind this and hit play, there it goes, and then it's going to speed up. Okay, now remember, I turned this feature over off over here. This is the speed transitions, and when I click that, you can see what's going on here. So, blue is fast, orange is slow, blue is fast. All right, and then the partial blue and the partial orange, that is the amount of time it takes to ramp from this speed to this speed. And this is midway through. So if I were to pull this little edge over, basically it's going to ramp to that slow speed faster. And then this is the tail end of it. All right, and then I can do, actually I might want to come out of it slower, maybe about like that. So now let's play this. It's going to go fast and then whoosh. Ah, now see, I think I, I, think I land, I, I hold on the slow too fast. All right, so that's really the key that I want to show you because there's one more feature that I want you to see. Now, if I take this thing and drag it over here, I might make the slow motion section, I will certainly affect the slow motion section. So look, if I just pull this like this, all right, let's see what happens. So it goes whoosh and it's slow, but it still doesn't start to go away until I get to the wall. Okay, so I'm gonna, and plus, look at this, this is important. I changed the speed. So there are occasions when you might have a specific speed you need it to be at. So let's say we don't wanna change the speed, but I just wanna change the frame that it starts to go faster again. Like really, I think it needs to start going faster about here. So let's watch it one more time. 
it goes whoosh and yeah right around there I want it to go faster so here's the trick basically this is the point where it changes speed but this is where I want it to change speed so if I come up here you see this this little icon that pops up when I hover over this bar so I'm going to double click on that and now I get this cool uh, little little gizmo here I get the edit source frame if I click on that I get a whole new icon now what I do is I take that icon and I drag it over to where my playhead was and now I'm actually changing the location of the speed change but you'll notice what's happening is everything stays exactly the same speed okay now I double click on that I'm going to rewind by hitting the home key and hit play again and there it is and boosh and then speed up and go away much better so remember that it's double clicking any place on the time actually i think it's any place on the timeline let's see yeah uh no it's on these transition points it's where i can actually change the point that my transition my speed change happens all right that's a little bit more detail about speed remapping later later